All right, in this video, we are going to take it another step along. Okay, we send our file off to be shared with our client and that worked great. Okay, but let's say we're going to be sharing this with other colleagues, okay, You're working in a UX design team, okay, at a company and there's more than one of you working on documents. Okay, so I need to share this with somebody that can actually start working on the project and we kind of work together. To do that, we need to introduce something called Teams and team projects. So we got so far with just the drafts and using our sharing. So we look in here, it kind of gave us an indication, right? If I want to share, I can send it to say Doug and I want him to be an editor, but it says, hey, first to be an editor, you need to move it to a team project. I'm gonna click close. Up here it says it as well. Do you wanna move this file? Okay, a lot of things are indicating needs to be in a team. So let's go and look at that the manual way. We can move it and it will automatically happen, but let's have a look the long way just so you can understand it better. So back at my little home house here, we've been working in drafts. You can have unlimited drafts, a bazillion drafts. Okay, eventually though, if you wanna be sharing it with other people and working on it, you need to move it into one of your projects. You also be named differently depending on how you set up uh, Figma, okay? But this is called a team, okay? Think of a team as like a project, like Scott Headphones. As a freelance UX designer, you probably have about 20 teams or 30 teams, okay, for different companies. Some companies only need one team with lots of projects inside of it, okay? And the projects might be things like, hey, there's the mobile website, the desktop website, it might be some social media stuff we're working on, it might be some flyers that we've made, okay? Or the redesign of that web page, and then redesign again lots of different projects. Okay, so you share the kind of company-wide team with the different people. Okay, so I can go to members and say, I wanna invite you, 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 and you to this team. And inside of this projects, we're gonna have desktop, mobile, January sale, all that sort of stuff. Anyway, those are what, that's the basic overview of what teams and the projects are. So let's go back to this. Okay, so we've been given, yours will be different. Okay, the name will be different but you've been given inside your team, there's already a team project. It's this thing here. You can view it that way or this way. It's the same thing, okay? We're gonna delete it for the moment and create our own. They've given you like a pre-made uh, team project with stuff in it. We can open it, have a look, okay? This is the default one for Figma at the moment, okay? And there's just a bunch of styles, okay? Lots of things going on in here, different assets, okay? It is, yeah. It's kind of useful. I find it's jumping in probably way too much for a newbie. So we're gonna close it down and you can keep it if you want. You don't have to. Back to home. I'm going to get rid of this project. Right click it, delete it. Sorry team project. I'm gonna create my own plus, create my own project. Okay, and this one is going to be the e-commerce it has to be lowercase e for some reason, <laughs> e-commerce website. Okay, and let's create it. Now, all we need to do is this draft in here, the one we're working on called, mine's called Scott Ecom One. I can just drag it into this project and that will unlock the editing. Okay, and you're like, why? What's the difference between drafts and this kind of like team with a team project with a file inside that team project? This unlocks some of the features, okay, so that I can actually collaborate with that person. I've still got that file open. Nothing's really changed except, can you see it's not in drafts anymore, it's in that project. And now when I go into share, I can do more. I can allow people to edit. So I can say, uh, okay, Doug, we don't really want to edit, but let's say Victoria, okay. Um, Victoria is somebody I work with, another UX designer. I could send her email address in here and she could start editing this thing. So why do I show you all of this? Uh, because it pops up quite a bit and it's one of those breakpoints where you go from free to paid, okay? Because let's have a look. Let me show you. So back at home, okay, remember drafts? You can have as many files in your drafts as you like, but if you wanna share it with another collaborator, it has to be moved out to here, okay? And I've got a team. That team can only have one team project. Inside of that team project, you can only have three files. So that's where they kind of, you know, that's where you move from going, okay, I need to pay for this, okay? Because it's great having one project, but I need two of them, e-commerce website and this other app that I'm building for them, or this other kind of subsection that I wanna break apart rather than just jamming them in the same project, 
Okay, now in terms of the files, yeah, you're gonna need more than three pretty quickly. Now this changes, go to figma.com slash pricing and they will show you what you get. Okay, actually I'll bring it up here. This is what it looks like at the moment, it will change. Okay, it says free, you're allowed unlimited drafts, but you're only allowed one team project, okay, and you're only allowed three files within that project. There's a few other things as well, but this is where you might bump up to a paid, the paid product. There are ways around it, and a lot of people do. You're weirdly allowed at the moment uh, unlimited teams, okay? <laughs> so I could have a zillion different teams with one project and three files in it, and you can see how that works, and you can see how it might be a bit cumbersome as well. But it is pretty amazing what you get for free out of this Figma. Um, again, th these rules will change. Go and check figma.com slash pricing to see what is available and what's not. So to reiterate, okay, I've got this. I can share it when it's in drafts. Okay, I can move it back to drafts. I can say, you actually, I'm finished with this project now and I'm gonna be sneaky and move it back to drafts, okay, so they don't have to pay. Okay, the trouble with it though is anybody that was an editor can't see it anymore. Okay, it comes out of their Figma and goes into drafts. And I have to kind of share it this way. Here we go. Okay, kind of like Doug. He can view it, he can comment on it, but he can't be a co-collaborator on it. So, pros and cons. There are a few other things that, that you know a paid version gives you that will throw in throughout the course, but that's one of the big ones. One team, one team project, and three files only. All right, that's it. I hope that helped. That really confused me at the beginning of like, this screen here. <laughs> Uh, confused, the Hair Academy drafts, this thing, this thing, I can create more teams, what goes in here. So I hope that helps. I'm gonna leave mine back in drafts for the moment. So if you have dragged it out, put it back into drafts. You can just drag it, click hold, drag it from one to the other, and we'll resume our regular scheduled free version of Figma in the next video. All right, I'll see you there. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up-y likey thing and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.